Hi guys, uh, today we're going to discuss about like uh, creation of the local repository in a Linux system. Okay, so uh, I'm explaining all the real time use cases and uh, real time stuff. Okay, if anyone not subscribed to my channel, yet, please subscribe. Um, so how to create a local repository, uh, right? So you have some packages, uh, you wanted to create a repository for it so that you can, um, you can directly uh, like use the m command like m install and then the package name we can keep it so that it will install actually right we no need to keep uh, every time rpm hyphen ivh or whatever and we no need to do the complete path of the package we just have a repository and then we can install uh, it using the m command okay and even uh, we can create for multiple clients as well i'll try to do in our next video okay so let's quickly do this. Uh, so let's try to mount the, uh, like uh, I'm trying to pick pick the packages from DVD that I have like uh, uh, in the system, uh, go to settings, okay. And uh, if you go to settings, uh, you can see like CD or DVD or whatever uh, that is at, as attached to the system. Uh, there we can take the uh, ISV image file, okay. So here, um, CD or DVD, I'm using 7.9 uh, as ISO image file here. Okay. So in downloads, this is the file. And uh, make sure it is connected here so that uh, we can get the packages. Okay. So here, if you do lsblk, you can see this is already mounted on um, this one, SR0. This is the disk actually. So I'll mount it to, um, so I'll mount it to like slash dev slash SR0 is the device. I'm mounting it to slash media file system. Okay, so it is mounted read only mode. Now uh, I have to install four packages Delta RPM, Python Delta RPM, Create Repo, and then VSFTP. These four packages required to create a local repository. Okay, so let's try to quickly install them RPM hyphen IVH slash media packages. Insert packages, we have all the packages. Okay, so Delta RPM, this is the package and it is already installed. Okay. We can install Python Delta RPM. Okay. Python Delta RPM. So if it is not installed in your systems, you can install it. Okay. So Python Delta RPM. This is the package which is already installed. And uh, one more create repo. This is the one. And last one is uh, VSFTPD. So this is required for client repository if you are creating. This is required. Okay. So it is installed. Now we installed uh, all the four packages. Now what we need to do is we need to actually copy all the packages into one place. So I'm creating into slash var FTP uh, pub here. Uh, I don't have any directory. I'm creating into FTP path actually. This is slash var FTP is a FTP path. Inside pub, I'm creating a directory that is RHL 7.9 is the repository that I'm going to create. So I'm creating the directory and then I'm opening that. Okay. So here I'll copy all the files. Okay. So here I'll copy all the files, uh, CP hyphen RV recursive and verbose mode slash media packages, all the packages inside this path. I wanted to copy slash var FTP pub RHL, whatever the like directory that I created. I'm just copying all the files from here to here that's it i'm just copying okay just give enter it will take some time to uh, copy all the files okay so let them copy so once we copy this we need to actually uh, create a repository on top of it and then create a, a dot dot uh, repo local uh, repository file and then that is it actually right so let it copy uh, it will take some time okay uh, yeah, so we need to wait for some time here uh, because it will take some uh, some time to copy like many uh, many configuration. I mean many packages are there. So uh, let them copy. So so far we just uh, um, uh, mounted the DVD which we have. I mean mounted all the uh, like where the package resides from outside device and uh, we copied all the um, I mean we we installed delta rpm python delta rpm create repo and vsftp packages and we created a local uh, direct i mean we created a directory and we copying all the files that is it 
now we need to create a repository using create repo hyphen v command this will create the database inside okay inside the uh, inside the rel system itself okay and then you need to create um, this uh, uh, i mean any repository so for example i am keeping rhl 759.repo something like that 79.repo file uh, i I'll, i wanted to create this okay in this directory okay and we need to mention uh, these things the repository id a uh, repository name from where we have the files and gpg check and enable these parameters okay and then we need to m clean all m repolish there is there is the stuff actually so it is almost done and uh, once this is done we'll run create repo hyphen v command to create the repository okay so uh, based on like uh, for example if you want to create uh, for example you, you are installing big data applications you are installing any other applications you have set up packages you can keep all those packages into one place and then you can create a repository okay so package copied here so what i'll do create repo hyphen v and then uh, where the packages are slash var ftp pub rhcl 7.9 7.9 this is the place right just give enter it will actually create all the I mean, um, a repository for all these packages in the database. It will write. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll just uh, um, it will take some time, so I'll open new terminal. Okay. So in here, we need to create dot repo file, right? So uh, vim slash etc m dot repos dot d in this directory, I have to create some uh, name uh, like seven nine dot repo file dot repo file dot repo is the extension for it okay in here first we need to provide rel uh, i mean the id of repository rhl79 repo rhl79 repo is the id of repository the name would be like uh, name base url okay G gpg check gpg check okay and uh, enable these are the four uh, these are the like four parameters okay so name is like giving the name of the repository so i'll give simply 7.9 okay and the base url from where we have the files from where we have files so for example uh, simply for example i'll create a file here okay so let's create a file a uh, test okay i'm writing some data here i'm writing some data here control s saved it and if I open this file, okay, uh, in the Chrome browser, for example, let's open in the Chrome browser. See, you are getting the data, right? So here, if you see file colon double slash and then slash C colon, the complete path of it, right? In the same way, here also we need to provide file colon double slash where the path actually slash var slash FTP slash uh, pub RHEL 7. 7.9 this is the directory right so where we have all the files so that is the path we need to give okay and gpu check means it will check the signature whether the package is um uh, from rel vendor or not so gpu check equal to one you can give or else zero uh, if that those, those are like third party packages you can give zero it means disable it, it will not check the signature okay if you are giving one it will check the signature Enable, I wanted to enable this repository. If you have multiple repositories, you can enable specific repo repositories which you want. Okay. So enabled equal to one, we can give it. Escape colon WQ under to save the file. And once you saved it, let's see whether create a repository is done or not. Yes, this is done. This is generating SQL DBs and everything is done. Right. Now we need to uh, we have created the repo, repo file already. So let's run m clean all. m clean all. Just cleaning the repositories. m repo list. Okay. So just give enter. You can see the repository name RHL79. Repository ID is what? RHL79 repo. That is what we given in that file. And we are getting 5230. It means number of um, um i mean number of packages uh, which are there available actually right 
So whenever you give like m install um, the package, for example, tray wanted to install, just give tree, it will install actually, right? So this is how you can create a local repository for any of the packages. For example, you have some packages. If you want to create a local repository for this server, you can create it. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, feel feel free to uh, please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or any doubts in the comments and like and share subscribe to my channel i'll come with the more real time videos thank you guys bye bye